Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another video of home theater and setup. So, okay guys, I recently got the 2023 QD OLED from Samsung. Uh, it's the 77S95C. And guys, I am really, really happy and satisfied with the purchase. And for the past couple of days, I've been fiddling around the settings, the functions, and connecting uh, this Samsung OLED TV with my Samsung smartphone. So I found out that you can access or connect the TV via the SmartThings app. And guys, I also found out that there's a function in Samsung SmartThings that you can actually calibrate the TV using your smartphone. Uh, much like the, the feature of Apple TV, I think that's the color calibration with which I made a video about it. So it's very easy, it will not take you 5 minutes. So guys, I'll share with you with this video how to calibrate your Samsung TV with your Samsung smartphone. But before anything else guys, I'm Luis, your dimpled engineer. <laughs> and this is my YouTube channel. Okay guys, the first thing that you will need to do is to connect your or sync your phone and your smart TV. And after syncing it, uh, you need to download or update the Samsung app called Smart Things. And if you're done doing that, guys, let's proceed with the calibration using the Smart Smart Things app. So, okay, guys, after syncing or connecting your phone and your TV, uh, the next thing you need to do is go to your Samsung folder. And then look for the Smart Things app. And then go to Devices. And click the Samsung, your, your Samsung TV. And then scroll down. And there it is, guys. Smart Calibration. When watching movies, the image is automatically adjusted to be close to the quality intended by video creator. So after calibration, the existing picture mode will be renamed or changed to, to uh, movie calibrated. So let's do this guys, just click the smart calibration. And the next uh, screen will tell you that this is a simple calibration uh, to provide consistent white balance on your screen. So the next step is to click this start calibration. And yes, you can see guys, the TV screen uh, Change to this uh, smart calibration screen. And as per instruction here in my smartphone, place the rear camera of your mobile phone one to three centimeters from the white rectangle, white rectangle area on the display screen or your TV. And then select start and do not move. So okay guys, that's what we're going to do. So place the rear camera of your, of your smartphone to the rectangular uh, portion of the TV and do not move. And then click the start. Click the start. There. 
There, it's done. <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's less than a minute. It's like the procedure of the Apple TV color calibration. So after calibrating, uh huh. You'll have this option to apply this calibration or revert to original. So based from what I'm seeing on my TV, this is the calibrated and I'll try to apply the non-calibrated uh, part. So I think guys, the calibration of Samsung tends to make the picture a little warm. So it lessens the, the brightness but adds warmth to the picture quality. It's like uh, adding yellow tint to it so you can see the this is this one is the non calibrated as you can see it's much brighter hmm. so guys let's check out let's test let's play some netflix 4k hdr videos and check out the picture quality life in color by David Attenborough Okay guys, that's our quick video for today uh, Let me know on the comment section down below if you've already done this Samsung auto calibration uh, with your uh, TV and your smartphone and let me know if how do you find the picture quality of this auto calibration from Samsung uh, for me it added uh, a little uh, warm tone to the picture quality which I will test or try for a few days and we'll see if I will like the picture quality so overall I'm still very satisfied with this Samsung S95C QD OLED and I really do recommend to check it out guys if you're planning and upgrading your uh, TVs once again guys thank you for watching this video always stay safe and be healthy guys God bless everyone and see you on my next video.